Good morning folks and welcome to the latest, latest update from the garden. A uh, different angle this time. Um, rarely get any, I rarely take any photos from down here. Um, but as you can see, it's uh, looking beautiful. And uh, still got a bit more work to do on this bottom here. I've got to add all, some multi compost, give the soil a bit of a boost as well. But uh, you can see the tulips are growing beautifully. Um, got a few primulas and polyanthers. And uh, we've got some uh, oh, lilies, I, I believe. And these ones are uh, down flat at the moment. Um, they will be out in flower soon. They are. Slipped my name, slipped my mind at the moment, and we have got some flocks down at the bottom there, which are dotted around somewhere. <laughs> and, uh, let's have a look. Let's move around. You can see the camellia is nearly finished, but uh, I'm really chuffed with how things are going. I've actually got to finish the path off here and this part down here has got to be tidied up a little bit more. Um, there's a lot of plants in here which uh, will be left. Um, th this one down here, Japanese anemone, that usually flowers uh, late summer and it carries on for a few months. Um, this area here is all going to be tidied up. Uh, there is one or two um, plants in there. There's some um, aquilegia in, uh, hiding in there. Um, so I've got to be really careful uh, when it comes to the weeding that I'm getting out the proper plants. I can see there's a hosta hiding at the back there. Uh, there used to be some poppies here, but they've succumbed, I believe. But I've got uh, poppies over there in that bed, so I'm, I'm not too fussed about that. You can see that the pear tree is in full blossom. And the plum tree is about finished. And looking at it, I can see some swelling. So some of those uh, blossoms have taken. Uh, it's still a bit early days because it's, it's not long since they stopped, but it uh, looks as though we will have a, a few plums on here this year. Um, not really, I'm not really relying on any because uh, it seems to suffer a lot from uh, brown rot this particular tree and uh, I haven't had anything for the last two years it's all right I've just spotted something you see this this here that needs to come off I don't know how I've missed it you can see it's it's going into there so I'm gonna have to I will have to uh, saw that away That'll be a work in progress. Look at the uh, daisies down there, aren't they looking beautiful? And the the foliage from this plant here, that needs a trim. There is meant to be a space between the two shrubs here, so uh, got to um, sort out the suckers as well. They were a lot bigger, but you can see I've missed one or two, and so we're going to get that sorted. Yeah, these are pretty sure that these were the the flux. They grow up to about three feet high. I think I've got that right. I can see a dandelion hiding in there. But anyway, so we haven't done that yet. Uh, path will need to be all cleaned. I've, one of the jobs I've got to do is jet wash all the paths. But uh, there's no point in doing that until the gardening 
the major cleanup is finished. Come back around here. Can you see all this soil here? That's where Lady had got into these beds. And that's why we've got the netting round everywhere. So this bed is yet to be finished. This one's been this one's been done and, you, and I have sprinkled seeds in here. You can see down there, I think that's an aquilegia growing. Uh, there is other seedlings in here. It's a bit hard to see at the moment, but when, when I water every night, you can see things popping up. The polytunnel, right. Well, this, uh, in the storms, what we had earlier in the year, this ripped so what I've done is I've, I've tried to get a bit of extra life out of it for this year so I've used the zip ties on here and I've cut it down the pieces left the door off um, you can see all these plants this is from two years ago when my dad died and uh, our, everything died along with him uh, because I uh, I just couldn't do anything uh, and I've started tidying this up, might not look it. Um, there was a lots of uh, um, ivy and uh, a bit of dead bindweed in here, so uh, I will gradually get this sorted. And the cover on there, you can see that's all fell apart. That's because it's been there since 2012, I think it is. So uh, that's coming out. And get it all tidied up. There's stuff in there what Dad put in there uh, which needs to be taken to the tip. Uh, that'll be a job for a later date but what I'll do is move it to somewhere else. I'll get all these trays and that sorted. I do want to uh, do some sowing um, if, I, if I've got to go through my seeds see what I've got. Um, I'd like to get some perennials growing the next year but we'll see but anyway even though this tunnel's cover and that's all f it is, uh, come off there's an if I go and stand inside here there's actually quite a lot of heat um, reflecting off the cover so uh, it's warmer just those extra few feet in there than what it is where I'm standing now so uh, if I can get another season out of this, I'll be happy. And the hope is that I'm going to be able to grow a few things down on these. Oh, let's, let's take you around here. Grow along here once I've emptied these all out. And I, I have got plenty of compost now because I've got a delivery. But once I've uh, sorted that out, anything which is a bit uh, fragile from the frost, will be able to grow further down. I have got the plastic propagator um, tops there, so that'll give it extra protection. And uh, yeah, so I'm quite looking forward to that. This is all going to take place within the next week. Um, and where I am, um, we can get frost right through to the end of May. So that just shows you why we have to be careful with putting things out which are um, which can succumb from the frost. But uh, this will this will help a lot. I did in an ideal world. I, I was thinking I could have some uh, um, debris netting over to fill this spot. That's what I'd love, but I uh, haven't been able to get hold of any. So, uh, and I was thinking once this is season's finished that this would probably be uh, um, I'd probably use debris netting to cover the whole lot and just use it for um, maybe for fruit but uh, I'll see I, d I did try to get a cover for it but uh, nowhere no place had them in stock and uh, so I'm going to have to leave that for the moment. Right, let's come by. 
um, the path here is all going to be tidied up as well so that to so say that will all look nice this is this is all from um, lady when she used to be able to get in here I'm quite excited about this area because I've sprinkled all seed over here and I've been watering every day and you can see seedlings coming through here There's one there uh, we've got some small ones dotted all over here all around this area and I'll bring you around here you can see this loads uh, so I'm quite excited to see what these will turn out to be um, so this area is just going to be um, watered every day and uh, hopefully in the summer it's going to be full of colour you can see the oriental poppies growing quite nicely I've got uh, a poppy over there, that's an annual one, it will just sell seed. Um, that one there is a flock, flock and flock. Uh, I think it is a flock, oh, well, I'm not sure. No it's not is it? It's got a different leaf. Hmm, we'll have to see about that. And finally, uh, remember the bare-rooted plants, strawberry plants, what I put in? Well, look how they're growing now, nicely. Just look at that. They're growing lovely. Now, one thing to remember when you get new plants, make sure you take the, uh, the dead uh, leaves away. These... You know what? Too wet. I need to let these dry out. I'm gonna let. Um, that's what I'm gonna do. I can see we've oh, got new green loaf there, possibly there. Yeah. Well, basically, what happened was, lady, these were on the floor, and lady kept nibbling at the leaves, and that's why they didn't progress like these. Hence, I've put them up here. You can see uh, this is already started recovering and this one. Um, I have got quite a few more to go in. And I've put them in some a uh, uh, little bit of water with some soil in there and I'm going to transfer a few of those. Again, these were on the floor but you can see they are starting to grow now. And we've got up here one, two, three. That one's just showing signs, that one is. And down here, all five are showing light. Need a bit more soil to cover the roots on that. The rhubarb is not really doing a great deal. It is producing a few new leaves. We'll just have to see how that goes. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe it's a bit late to get it transplanted, but we'll see. It, it's definitely surviving. And uh, even if we don't get anything this year, next year will be better. Yeah. And finally, just looking at how things are going. The apple tree is starting to come out in blossom now. And all the pots, what you see lying around, are all, all going to be um, tidied up, moved around, filled up with fresh compost. Yeah, these will all be emptied and uh, be used for uh, strawberries. I've got some black bu buckets uh, hiding at the back there. And they're going to be filled up with potatoes and this is all work for the next week um, both sheds really need um, getting rid of they're uh, falling to bits and uh, but it's just the cost of uh, skip hire and, um, and and some getting somebody strong a couple of strong people to uh, to dismantle it because uh, especially the bottom one the roof is so so heavy 
um, I couldn't budge it. Well, I, I could, I could lift it an inch or two and that was it. Really heavy, We've solidly made the roof on that one. This one isn't. Uh, and we'll probably, if I, got, if I was to get rid of those, and uh, I'd probably use the area to grow um, probably fruit or maybe potato. Have, I would have, you know, in the future things in tubs, maybe a little sitting area. I think that's what I'd like this area for, just to sit down. Maybe the bottom as well, but I want it clear. Um, got a load of stuff in the shed, what needs to be thrown out, some of it, some of it to be kept, uh, I suppose, but uh, I haven't really been in the sheds for two years, so there's nothing really desperate, apart from some garden tools, what I would use, but I've been too lazy to go in, because I tend to keep them out in the garden. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. So that's it folks. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Hope you've enjoyed it and uh, I'll see you soon.